to look at different ways to go about running your business, especially because there is no one size fits all approach to business. So today I wanna to look at a service specifically for web designers, and this is a VIP day. So in this video, I wanna look specifically at what VIP days are, what you can include in your VIP day sessions, the pros and cons to considering offering this in your business. We'll look at some real life examples of web designers who are offering this service, how to go about pricing actual VIP days, and if this is something you do think you would like to implement in your business, I'm gonna give you some specific recommendations to take into consideration. So if that sounds good, let's jump right in and let's start by talking about what VIP days actually are. So a VIP day is essentially where you take a number of tasks that may spread out over a period of weeks and you condense it down into one, maybe two days, depending on how you would like to structure your VIP days and you just get it all done and your time and your focus is exclusively on just one client who is paying for this particular VIP day. So this really removes the pain point for both you and the client. For the client, they have all of these little things that have been on their to-do list that are just not happening. And instead of having to go back and forth with you over weeks, if not months, to get things done, they can sit down and just dedicate that one day and know that it is going to be taken off their to-do list, it will be done, and they can move on to bigger and more important things in their business. And the same for you, there's not going to be all of this chasing of the client back and forth, trying to get everything that you need, or handling these one-off tasks, Rather, you can sit down, you can give them some real insight and get them set up on the right foot so they can begin moving forward. Now, the key here is really to know what you can and you cannot get done in this time and to be able to effectively communicate that so both of you are on the same page. Now, what a VIP day is not is time for you to be expected to do a custom website build, a full large website. It's just not going to happen, or at least it's not going to be a good job if you try to do this on a single day. You certainly can consider doing a basic website build or even a one page website build that's more based off a template or something you can put together quickly but that may or may not be what is in the best interest of the client and their time and money during these VIP days. But we'll talk about that in a moment when we look at what to include. First, let's talk about how do you actually structure these days? How many hours should you put into this? Now, a VIP day, that sounds like a full day. So you can certainly offer a full VIP day, which tends to be typical. And this can range anywhere from seven to 10 hours worth of work, again, depending on what you decide and what you would like to do. Now, a couple of other ways that you can structure this time, you could also offer a half day. So a half day might be only four to five hours if a client really doesn't have a enough to fill up a full day. The last option you may want to consider or feel more comfortable with is spanning this out over two days. Keep in mind that your workload when having to work consistently throughout the day and also communicating with a client during the day, even though you can structure that, can feel very heavy back to back. So this may work well if you structure it over two days, doing four to five hours each day. Okay, let's talk pros and cons for both you and the client. So one pro for both of you is definitely that your full focus is entirely on this single client. So you are not gonna be considering any other client needs during this time. You are exclusively working to knock out this list that you and the client have agreed to. You also, with this type of work, know exactly how long it is going to take. The client knows if you are dedicating four hours or eight hours or 10 hours of your time to exclusively work on them, and you know that the work will be done on the day that you have scheduled. There's also not going to be this whole waiting period with the client where the project is getting delayed because you are having to wait on a number of items from the client. And I will share with you how I would structure this as we get to the recommendations. Another thing that I really like about VIP days is that this allows you to structure these days based on your schedule. I love building a business that works around your life and the lifestyle that you wish to have and not necessarily the other 
other way around. It's very easy to fill up all of our time, all of our focus exclusively on our business and just try to fit life around it where it works out. So the good thing about VIP days is if you want to batch a number of them within a week and then you wanna take the next one or two weeks off, it allows you to be able to do that. And you can structure how close or how far apart you're willing to do these VIP days. And because you are doing more work at one time, this also allows you to make more in less time, which is of course, beneficial to your business, but at the same time, it is still adding that value to the client because although they're paying for your time, they're also getting all of this off their plate. It feels really good for them and it allows them to move on and focus on more important things in their business. Now let's talk about a couple of cons to this type of structure. With a VIP day, it can be harder to get down an exact process that you're going to follow because the needs of your clients may vary and what they need done can vary. However, I always still like to create a system. I try to create a process for everything that is going on in my business. So one way that we would go about overcoming this con is as I am working with clients, especially if you're working with clients that are in relatively the the same kind of business or dealing with the same types of issues, you can help them be able to prioritize these issues and you can structure your day so that they know what type of work is going to be done throughout the day and you'll have a better idea of how long this is all going to take and what realistically you're actually going to be able to fit in. I think also one of the cons here is being able to effectively manage expectations here. And this is certainly something that you can overcome. It's just gonna take a little practice or really a little intent on your part to really think about how you are being clear and being very, very specific on exactly what you are including, what you're not including, what you will guarantee that you have time to get done, and what will be kind of some of the bonuses if there is time available for you to get done. So communication is going to be very key and definitely something to think about. Okay, so I keep talking about what should we actually include in a VIP day? So let's look at some options here. And again, this is going to be completely structured to your own business as you look at what your clients actually need. So what we talk about here, these are just some possibilities and you'll be able to pull from this. And after speaking with the client about where they're at now, what are some of the tasks that they want to see done? Where is their business going? You'll have an idea of which services you're able to pull into a VIP day. So as simple as this sounds, one of the easiest things to offer is to simply just get done what is on their list. It's not necessarily something specific, uh, SEO type of work or a design type of work, copy. It is specific to what they're telling you. Oh, I need this restructure of my website or I need this copy tweaked or whatever it may be. This actually, many, many years ago, was an offer that I put out really because I didn't know how to structure an offer properly and help really add value. So my offer was just tell me what you need done, I'm gonna get it done. Because what happens is these business owners come up with so many little things that they wanna do or little tweaks that they would like to see, but it really is a low priority based on all of the other things they have to do on their business to-do list, even though they want to get it done, but it just keeps getting bumped on their to-do list to the next week and the next week. So if you're able to sit down and just knock out that list for them in a single day, that is really, really beneficial to them. And it is a starting point for you to be able to continue working further with them. Another option is also a little bit of analysis, a little bit of of strategy, or it could be a lot of strategy if that is the way that you want to structure your days. These could be strategy VIP days where you're really getting in, you are talking about website planning, you're looking at their SEO, you're looking at their analytics, and you're trying to help them make the best decisions for how to move forward based on where their business is now and where their business wants to be. So for instance, we can go in and we can take a look at their analytics and see where is their website leaking traffic? Where is the traffic actually falling off? What pages on their website are doing really good? And how can we improve the website to help stop some of those traffic leaks and help us convert more leads? You can also help on improving conversions, sales funnels, sales pages, even going in and helping to improve existing content so that it gets better results, whether this is tweaking of some of the copy or even just better formatting some of the pages to help make sure that it is designed to keep the user on the actual website. It is gonna help them convert that visitor and so forth. This could also be 
other services like a website audit, whether from a design perspective, an SEO perspective, this could be looking at content gaps to help advise them on their content strategy. We can also work on overall site organization and navigation. This could be for small page refreshes if there are certain pages that need to be designed or enhanced, adding new small features to websites or even things like live chat or click to call features. And even if you have my web design workflow process, going in and looking at the site planning process and being able to take pieces from there is also something that you can implement during a VIP day. Now I have put together some example packages and pricing for these VIP days that you can take and use and you can access that at portableentrepreneur.com forward slash VIP days. All right, let's talk about pricing. Now, earlier when I talked about structuring this and the amount of time that you're going to put into this, a couple of things I want you to keep in mind. First, you can always offer the half day as we talked about. You can offer a full day, but one piece of advice here is to make sure that you are also setting aside time prior to the actual VIP day where you will be meeting one-on-one -on -one with that client. And the purpose of this meeting that typically will last about 45 minutes to an hour is for you to become clear on exactly what it is that you will be doing during this time. You don't wanna start the first hour of your VIP day not knowing exactly how the day is going to go. You're gonna lose a lot of time. So that is the purpose of this meeting ahead of time is to make sure that you're on the same page and that you help the client not only prioritize what they want to get done, but also giving them time to go collect the exact information that you're going to need in order to have everything ready, organized, and in one single spot when that VIP VIP day starts. So now the question everyone wants to know is how do you actually price your VIP days? Now, of course, this is going to depend on whether you're gonna do a half day or a full day. So typically with the VIP days that are currently being offered, I'm seeing prices that range between the $800 and $1,500 per day price range. Now for a half day, I would not necessarily just cut the price evenly in half. And the reason is I would make it a bit higher so that people are more inclined to go with the full day so you have a full day of profit. And part of the reason for that is looking at this from a business perspective, I want to make sure that I'm maximizing my time. And I'm very unlikely to schedule two VIP days or half days, I should say, back to back. So it would be more beneficial if we can have one client in one day. And if they don't think that the day could be filled up, then this is also where you can use your expertise. You can take a look at their website. You can ask them questions about their business, understand what they want to work on or what they're working towards so that you can give them some suggestions of other things that they could benefit from during that VIP day as well. All right, let's look at a few examples here of actual web designers who are offering this service. The first business we'll look at here offering a VIP day focuses on website strategy VIP days. And so all of the answers it says for the website strategies, everything they need to know is going to be handled during that day. So it looks like the strategy is the focus. So that way the business can take the strategy that is developed during this VIP day and implement that to see better results. As you can see, they have an apply now option. It didn't look too detailed and in a having a client apply. It's probably not something that I would post, but rather after they inquired about it, this is something they want to do, then I would go ahead and send them a link to a full on application that does get a bit more detailed. Now, of course, it's not going to replace your actual conversations, but this will give you an idea of what they are doing and they're breaking it down into their three sections of discovering their business goals, auditing it, creating that plan, and then developing the strategy to help them be able to reach their goals and give them just action-based steps to be able to take. Now, the next company here offering a VIP day is essentially just asking for you to provide the list of tasks and those are going to be able to be knocked out during the day. So this, again, they are giving the steps to essentially what a VIP day looks like. So just like the last one, they are giving that strategy, they're developing the actual day, Here's how we're gonna be able to tackle your task list, be able to knock off everything on your list. And then we will wrap this up here with a call. The last one here is again, another VIP day. And what can we do to improve the way your website looks, the way it operates in a single day? And so they provide more 
more information here on specifically what they are doing as well. But again, this is still something that you can tailor to particular types of businesses or target audience that you have that you're working with to make these VIP days even more powerful. Now, before you go, I do want to leave you with some specific recommendations. If this is something you're thinking, you know, this looks really interesting. I might implement this in my business. I want to give you some other things to think about. Now, I did mention a little bit earlier that it is important, in my opinion, to make sure that when you are gathering information from your clients, making sure that it is all in one single place. So if they are sending you copy, images, color palettes, logos, anything that they may be uploading to you, including all their login access information, you wanna have that in a single dashboard. You could use even something simple like a special Google Drive folder that you have set up for them. Whatever is easiest for you to keep it in one single spot. So that way on VIP day, you are not searching through emails, different folders, different places to access this information. It is very important that everything is organized. Another thing you may want to consider is when you are meeting with the client prior to the VIP day and you are discussing the priority list is to create an actual checklist of that work. This is something that is helpful to actually put online, give your clients access to the they can view only, but it allows you to go and be able to check off the tasks that you have done. So throughout the day, they're able to monitor this list and see where you're at as well. Now, when the VIP day actually starts, I would kick things off by jumping on a call with the client. This is going to be a very short, maybe 10 to 15 minute call where you're just getting the day going, just doing a quick recap, letting him or her know when you may need feedback throughout the day. And then I would also do the same at the end of the day. You might need a little bit more time at the end of the day because now the work has been done. Now they may have some questions. They may want to point a few things out. You may want to point a few things out to them. So you may want to leave some of your day for that at the end as well. I think it's really important to have that recap and also to be able to plan for some next steps. Now, with all of the work done, I also like to add some additional support time beyond the VIP day. Now, this does not necessarily mean that you are going to continue working for free or anything for additional days beyond this. However, it is just to be there and let them know, I'm not, I'm not just dropping you at the end of this day. If you do have questions, if you wanna come back and ask anything, you need anything clarified, then I'll continue to provide support. You can decide if that's seven days, 14 days, 30 days, whatever you feel most comfortable with. But again, it's only going to be based on the work that was agreed to during that VIP day. If there's any new tasks, if there's anything outside of that, then of course you need to schedule that work and proceed with that as a new project. The last thing that you may wanna consider is to make this an application process. So for anyone who is interested in a VIP day, they need to actually apply for this service. So this does a couple of things. First, this does make it more exclusive. It demonstrates that you are more serious about this and that can also command some of the higher prices because you are essentially saying I need to see what it is that you need help with because I don't want to dedicate a full VIP day to you if you're not actually going to get the value out of this day. So let's make sure, let's fill out this application, let's make sure that me and you working together is going to actually be a good fit and this is actually going to be the best use of your time and money and if it's not then I can explore some other options with you or refer you elsewhere. And the last recommendation that I have for you is if you are serving other clients or you have other clients coming in, again, you don't want to be answering calls and handling emails during someone's dedicated VIP day. So what I like to do is set up an email autoresponder. You can do that with your vacation settings for your email. And in that, this is where I say, I am working today. I am in the middle of a full day VIP session with a client fully dedicated to them. I will be returning calls or emails at this time. So that way you're letting them know when they can expect to hear back from you. And then I'd also even include a line that says, if you're interested in learning more about my VIP days, click here. And then that will take them to your dedicated landing page about your VIP day so they can learn more because you never know who would be interested and you wanna be able to get the word out about that as well. So hopefully this has given you something to think about, whether this is the way you want to actually structure your entire business just by offering VIP days, or if this is something you just want to add 
add on to your current list of services and you can still continue to offer custom site builds, for instance, and other marketing services. If you have any questions about VIP days, drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.